Making homemade mushroom broth is super easy, especially in the Instant Pot. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make it. Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah, and one of my ultimate goals is to learn to replace the things that I have normally bought at the grocery store. And I have moved on to replacing the cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup in a can that you get from the grocery store. I've been making cream of chicken soup for a while, uh, homemade, uh, but now I want to move on to replacing cream of mushroom soup. In order to make that, I need to first make a mushroom broth. And I have learned to do that in the Instant Pot, which makes it so much easier. The ingredients in mushroom broth are very basic, and in most cases you probably have almost everything already in your kitchen or in your pantry. The first thing that we're going to talk about and get started chopping are the mushrooms. Now, I am just using white mushrooms from the grocery store. Um, they're inexpensive um, and I don't really have access to specialty mushrooms and uh, they're really mild flavored. So that's why I'm going to start with those. If you have access to other mushrooms or if you like portobello mushrooms or shiitake mushrooms, um, even dried mushrooms can be reconstituted and then added to the broth to make that. But I'm going cheap, I'm going simple and just using white mushrooms. So the first thing we need to do is we need to chop these mushrooms and we're going to saute them in the instant pot while we wait for them to saute and while they're cooking down we'll chop our other vegetables. You really don't need to be careful about how you're chopping these. Uh, you know just rough chop them uh, so that there's more surface area in the uh, instant pot. Now I forgot to tell you that um, I used 16 ounces or one pound of mushrooms. That's what I bought from the store. So that's what I'm starting out with. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is we need to saute them in the instant pot. Um, so we are going to press the saute button on the instant pot and um, it's just going to set for 30 minutes. We're going to leave it open here. We're not going to let it saute for 30 minutes. We're going to stir it. I'm going to add a little water. I'm going to add a little bit of water to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. But we're going to just continue to allow it to saute and stir while I'm chopping the rest of the vegetables. The other veggies that I'm going to be chopping up to go inside of here are two ribs of celery, one carrot, and uh, one large yellow onion. Uh, once the mushrooms have uh, sauteed uh, down maybe 50%, then I'll throw these in there and saute them for a while as well. Well, these are cooked down well enough for me to put the other vegetables in. So we're going to throw those in as much as I can get in there at one time. I'm just going to stir these. I'm just going to stir them real quick. And there are some other herbs and things that we need to add into there. We're going to add one nice size bay leaf. Some dried thyme. This is probably about um, one or two teaspoons of dried thyme. Uh, two to three cloves of um, minced garlic. My eyes are watering from the onions. Uh, these are black peppercorns. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of those. I'm also going to add about one tablespoon of dried parsley. That's about it. That's it for all of the herbs. I'm not going to add any salt right now because I would like to be able to salt it um, as I need it um, after it's finished. So mix that around. I'm adding one cup of uh, red wine. Now that is optional. Um, ours is homemade. Um, you can just use regular store bought or you can just skip it all together and go right to the water. Uh, so I'm going to stir that up and then we're going to put in um, 8 to 12 cups of water. 
Okay, it's almost filled up. Basically, what I'm trying to do is to fill it up to the max line right there. Um, and I've already put in about eight cups, so now that's as good as it's gonna get for me. So that's it. Now we just need to put the cover on and uh, let it cook. So we have this on the saute setting. So the first thing we need to do when we're pressing buttons is to turn this off. And we're just gonna press the red button that turns it off. And then we're going to press the manual button and we're gonna allow it to cook for 30 minutes. And when it gets to the 30 minutes and turns off, we will let the pressure come down on its own. So after it comes up to pressure and it cooks for 30 minutes and then it comes down on its own, we'll come back and open it up together and see what it looks like. Okay, it's all finished. Let's see what it looks like. The big reveal. Well, it smells good. Ooh, it smells really good. So my plan for this batch of mushroom broth is to uh, put it in jars and let it cool in the refrigerator because I have plans to use it in the upcoming week. However, in the future, when I make batches of uh, mushroom broth, I plan to can it, uh, pressure can it. Um, I would like to be able to can cream of mushroom soup, but you can't can cream soups. So this is the uh, next best thing and the next easiest thing for me to do homemade uh, cream of mushroom soup. To do homemade cream of mushroom soup. So let's start um, ladling this out. I'm going to be using um, a, uh, a canning funnel with a strainer on top of it to catch any of the bits that might come out. And let's just take a look at what this looks like. It smells amazing. I'm actually surprised when I make a mushroom broth how much it smells like uh, beef or some kind of um, you know red meat broth. It, it smells wonderful. Now, if you um, want some extra ideas of what to make with your mushroom broth, you can not only make cream of mushroom soup, but you can make mushroom gravy. Um, and um, you can use it as kind of a, a broth substitute in a vegetable soup. So look at that color. That is fantastic. I'm very pleased with how uh, that has turned out and it smells amazing. I can't wait to turn it into cream of mushroom soup. So I'm so happy to have found another way to eliminate more things from the grocery store and to do more and more things um, from scratch at home. Um, next up, we're going to need to learn how to grow our own mushrooms or start foraging more seriously uh, for morel mushrooms and, and other edible mushrooms um, in our woods and on our property. Stay tuned. Uh, coming up soon, I'm going to be doing a video and actually turning the mushroom broth into cream of mushroom soup, and I'll teach you how to do that. If you enjoyed this video and you are not a subscriber yet, now is the best time for you to hit the subscribe button below. Um, if you share it with your friends and family, I would totally appreciate it. And if you have questions or comments, go ahead and uh, put that in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.